everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am here putting on a smile because inside I am not very happy right now. This weekend I had some really really fun plans which I was going to take you along with me. Uh, I was going to get Lara ready for our outing with the Nile Valley Bloodhounds tomorrow so I was going to clip her, give her her first clip of the year I was also going to film a dressage riders online test, uh, which we're doing something with the girls in in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. However, my plans have changed because this morning, it's Saturday morning, uh, this morning Lara came in hopping. Um, hopping lame, she had thrown a shoe in the field. I was going to vlog this morning, but I was in such a bad mood that I didn't. Anyway, I've brought her in. I She's got a fat leg, so I've cold hosed her, bandaged her up. She's in the state. I'm looking at her right now, looking very sorry for herself. Uh, she's also got a tiny cut on the bulb of her heel, which looks like, I guess, an overreach. But I'm waiting now for the farrier to come, who's going to see if she's got any puncture wounds from if she steps on the shoe or not. Because I don't know. Literally, it's a mystery. There's not really any signs of anything really wrong visibly um so we'll see what the farrier says and then if that fails and she's still hobbling around i'm gonna have to get the vet out this is not what i wanted to do today uh, but that is the reality of horses so i thought you know what i'm gonna vlog about it anyway because as much as it pains me to do so this is this is literally what it's like one minute they're absolutely fine yesterday we had the best hack ever and uh today no, anyway, let me hear she's finally poked her head out. Oh, and obviously it's been raining again. Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> Look at you. Poor little bean. So let's have a closer look, shall we? So I bandaged her, but this is obviously where she's lost the shoe. Um, and then pick up. She's got... Oh, it's actually looking bit more prominent now so this is see here she's obviously had a little overreach there and that could just be why she's a bit tender because I can't see any obvious puncture wounds or anything so we'll just see he'll get the I don't know whatever the process is that Paris use to see if they've punctured themselves um, unless I'm totally blind yeah she's looking at me like why have you plaited I plaited her mane because I was going to pull it in a hope that it would stay on the right side. I've lost my main comb, so I'm going to have to go and buy one of those. Oh, this is one of those weekends already, isn't it? And we were going to bath you, because look at that. Disgusting. We're going to bath her before I clip, but there's no point now, because I don't know. Oh. Horses are great levellers, just when you, you know, always keep you guessing. So Lara's forced me to change her routine already. I would normally wait until the clocks change uh, before they come in at night. However, well, now she's been in <laughs> in the day as well. Um, so I've put down her bed of easy bed uh, is what I'm using at the moment. Ignore that splatter down the wall. Um, so, but this is good because it will provide a nice supportive base for her for the past year, I think. Had her on easy bed. Because she is the most disgusting mare in the world. Here comes my saviour. Coming to save the day. Hello. Do you mind being on my vlog? <laughs> I'm just saying you're my saviour. Hopefully. Not for you. No. <laughs> Can you see anything from first glance? So I'm just giving it a little scrape and then I'm looking to see if there's any puncture wounds. Okay. Could you see a puncture wound if it was like obvious? Is it surely it's obvious? Uh, or not yeah. necessarily? No, not always. Okay. Sometimes um, you can puncture it and then they, they, they'll seal back up. Right. And you'll get uh, trapped in there and cause an abscess, but sometimes they are really obvious and they'll bleed. Okay. So you just have to have a good little look and then a little squeeze, see if you can feel anything. Find the sensitive area. Out the way, please. Oh, but it looks good to be honest. So yeah. Far. 
So Lawrence has had a look at the foot, her bad foot, and you couldn't really see anything, could you? No. Nope. Anyway, so he's put the shoe back on without the pad, just in case anything does pop up. And now we're taking the pad off the other one, but she can stand yeah, fine. She's standing right now. She's so she's standing on her bad she's not leg. Too much. No. And um, it's now just deciding to bucket it down with rain. Oh, you're getting wet, Lara. Anyway, so we'll see what she's like with the other shoe on. Hopefully she'll be balanced now. I don't know if she's just being a wimp about the little cut on her heel. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. And we're going to see how she is today. And hopefully there's an improvement and we can... I hate keeping her in because she hates it. So um hoping she looks a bit more comfortable. She's going to poo. Oh no, wait, wait. Come on. So on first inspection, I'm actually pleasantly surprised because obviously, yes, I did bandage her last night. So that would, that would prevent any major flare ups, but I can't really, at this moment, I can't really feel a significant difference. The only thing is, is the tiny bit of heat where the small cut is. And that makes sense. So I'm going to treat that as normal and maybe just hope that she's being a complete drama queen. Turn her out for the morning and see how we get on. But she's not hobbling anymore like she was yesterday. She didn't get a video of that. I don't think many people would like to see that. So um, she was in, yeah, she was pretty sore. Poor thing. So, yeah. Let's sort this out, shall we, Laura? Right. Walking sensibly around here. I'm just walking her to the fence line so she doesn't run to see where Woody is over there. Hey, Willa, helping. There he is. See? So if Lara had been hobbling like she had yesterday, obviously I wouldn't have turned her out. She's much happier out much happier out um and otherwise she'd just end up going round and round and probably causing more problems in her stable so and she's just quietly grazing now bbc news at 7 30 this is tina de healy morning morning i have good news yesterday lara was showing she was a completely different horse she no longer had three legs and she had four um the leg hasn't puffed up so we think that it's just literally when she pulled the shoe off, she probably did it quite violently. And the small overreach also, so a combination, she's also a bit of a whim. That means that this morning she can have a clip. I bathed her last night. She was literally the most pampered horse in the world. She had, I boiled about 7 million kettles for her to have a nice hot bath. Um, so this morning she's very clean because you're supposed to um, get all the grease out, what helps the clippers. If you get out all the grease out, which is what I've done. And now she smells like mandarin, which is very nice. So I still haven't found my main comb, which means that they have to stay in these plats until I do, but we're gonna do a full clip today and just get it off well leave her legs on i always leave her little leggies on because she needs them don't you we're just having a sit down let willa out for a minute come and say hi willa let's see your pretty face who's this who's this figure's in bed so she didn't want to come but willa you don't mind being here do you She's had a baby oil hot cloth. Um, 
and she's got a nice freshly cleaned rug on and now she's gonna go and get absolutely covered in mud in the field when she has a big fat roll. Look, there's Woody. How exciting. Bye bye. Oh, calm down though because you're recovering. But as you can see, she's not lame. <laughs> Hence why I clipped her. Because I knew that if I didn't clip her this week, I just wouldn't have any time when it's, this is like the only time it's not raining forever. So I will sign out. Hopefully this is not going to be the end of the vlog because I want to show you something actually exciting. However, no, as I said, this is the reality of horses. So if I have to sign out, I'm going to sign out. Then I'll see you soon. <laughs>